Hello everybody, today is celebrating 3,000 subscribers. So I'd wish to welcome all the new subscribers that have come to the channel. And I hope that you found my videos really useful for you in your Amiga journey. And to celebrate today, we're gonna be emulating an Amiga 3000, that's right. The Amiga 3000, which was released in June of 1990, and it was an upgrade of the Amiga 2000. Uh, the cool features that it had was that it had a built-in scan doubler, so you could use VGA monitors, which was quite forward thinking for the time. And it came with a 68030 processor, which was a bit of an upgrade. And out of all the big box Amigas, the Amiga 3000 looks really nice to me. I never owned it, unfortunately. But today, hopefully, we'll emulate it in WinUAE. So I've got my A3000 configuration loaded up here. So let's have a quick look and see uh, what we've got set up. So uh, first off, you'll probably see that the fonts are a little bit bigger today and I'm um, just trying to make things a little bit easier for you to read. To change this, just go to miscellaneous and then under GUI font, I've just increased mine to 12. And then you go to this select, choose 150% and then set default. That just increases the size of the window uh, for you. Let's get back to the configuration. The CPU is a 68030 processor and it's got an FPU, a floating point unit, maths unit. Clock speed is 16 megahertz, which is the base um, clock speed. There was a 25 megahertz version, but I'm not that greedy. We're just gonna go with the basic 16 for today. So chipset, we're doing cycle exact and we're making sure that the chipset is A3000. It is an ECS machine, so no fancy AGA graphics yet. That didn't come until the Amiga 4000 and the A1200. Under ROMs, we've got a kickstart of 2.04, which was specific to the A3000. And then under RAM, we've got two megabytes of chip RAM, which is similar to Amiga 1200. And then under here, sneakily, is the motherboard fast RAM, which is set to eight megabytes. So we've got a total of 10 megabytes set on this. So floppy drives, we've got two floppy drives enabled and I've got the uh, install disk and the extras disk of Amiga OS 2.04 in there. I've got this off the Kalanto pack. And then for hard drive, we're gonna set up a hard drive. So we're gonna go add hard file. And then at the bottom, we're gonna do a 100 megabyte hard drive. Click on create, and then we're gonna call this A3000. And there we go, the path is set at the top. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to UAE, we're gonna change that, and we're gonna change it to a Commodore A3000 SCSI device. We're gonna change it to unit six, that's really important that you do that. And then set full drive RDB mode, make sure that that is pressed and then grayed out. Okay, let's click on okay. And then a few of the other extra things under display, I've just changed it to full window. So I'm running in a 1920 by 1080 resolution on my Windows PC and full window and going to filter and set in no scaling. So changing it from default to no scaling and then change these to 2x and then make sure that keep aspect ratio is ticked and then VGA. So these are little tips for making a nice display in WinUAE and it's gonna give us a full screen display. So I think we're about ready. So let's hit the start button. So there we go, we're loaded up. Uh, so it's asking us the option of the key maps. So do we wish to continue? One for yes, zero for no. Um, normally it's a, a Y and an N. So seeing this is a, a little bit weird. Um, somebody obviously likes their binary. So one for yes. And then select the key map. So I am British, so I'm choosing number eight. So pressing eight and then enter. And then we'll just wait for things to load up. There we go. So uh, as you can see, no hard drives are showing up at the moment. We've got to prepare the drive. So 
if we go to 2.0 install a couple of tools in here we're looking for the prep HD so I double click on that and then it says it's going to create a low level format of uh, the hard drive under SCSI unit 6 there we go that's why that unit 6 had to be selected earlier and then I'm just going to select the option yes and then that partitions everything creates a six megabyte partition for workbench and then the rest of it is work and then it's asking us to reboot the machine and then use the format HD utility. So let's uh, do control Amiga Amiga. So we're going through these options again. If I just choose one for yes, and then eight again for British, we should get back to our workbench screen. So you'll see now we've got a WB2X uh, and an NDOS. We could select these and then just choose format, but there's a much easier way of just working with all of these. If we go to the 2.0 install disk again, click on format HD, then it says warning, this will reformat all the drives. Are you sure you want to do this? We press Y this time, not one. And then we wait for it to be formatted. There we go, it's formatted. Would we like the system software to be installed for us? So basically it's carrying on the installation. Yes, please, I want to install the software. And then this is warning us that anything that's on the hard drive will be overwritten and that we will need all of the disks uh, ready. So are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Setting up the RAM disk. Is this an A3000 Super Kickstart machine? Now, what's a Super Kickstart machine? You're probably asking. Well, some Amiga 3000s came with a 1.3 or 1.4 ROM, I believe. And you'd use an actual floppy disk to, to boot the, um, the operating system on all the time. Uh, we, we're not doing that at all. We've, we've actually got a 2.04 ROM installed, so we say no to this option. Is your normal system partition located on system 2.0? I'm going to say yes. And then is the time correct? Yep, that's definitely correct. Yes. And then we're going to choose yes again. Looking files for a system that are obsolete. So yeah, it's just going through and installing all the files. Then it's asking us for the workbench disk. So let's change that now. So remove the extras disk and put the workbench disk in. And then click OK. And then the extras disk in. So let's just select that. And then the fonts disk. And then there's an outline fonts option. I'm going to say no to that. Positioning new icons. Would I like the default system configuration to be interlace, so an interlace in uh, screen. No, I'm just going to choose for sort of like the mode that we're currently in. And then that's it. It's now asking us to remove all the disks. So let me do that now. Remove those, save my configuration. And then let's reboot the Amiga. And there we go we've got our Amiga 3000 set up all done. We've got Workbench 2 installed. So if I go into there, yep, we've got system, all the tools and everything, very similar to 3.1. And then we've got a works partition where we can put some stuff in there. So I'm gonna open it up to you now. So in the comments, what would you like me to do with this next? Do you want to see more Workbench 2.0 stuff? And if so, what do you want me to do with this system? What shall we try next? So I'll leave it to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another one.